Well, day five of the McDonald's corruption trial and more testimony from the man at the center of the allegations tonight. Johnny Williams was back on the stand today testifying about the lavish gifts he gave to the couple and the text messages he exchanged with Maureen McDonald. Kimberly Suter is live in Richmond tonight with what happened in court today. Kimberly. Well, today was really the defense team's turn to poke holes in the CEO of Star Scientific's testimony that he believes he bought and paid for the prestige of the governor's office. Bob McDonald arrived separately from wife Maureen, more talkative than the former governor had been all week. Governor, how have you gotten through this week? I, I can't comment on that. You know, I've got, I've got, careful ladies. Guys, I already had to give CPR to one person. Um, I mean, what has gotten you, know, you through got, this week? I've got tremendous lawyers, and I think, uh, you know, cross-examination is important, and we'll see how the truth comes out today. Are you looking forward to taking the stand? Watch out, guys. Yes. By contrast, though heckled by a woman about the lavish gifts she received. The former first lady was silent. In court, her defense attorney and Star Scientific CEO Johnny Williams did all the talking through cross-examination. The Johnny Williams we saw on direct and the Johnny Williams we saw on cross-examination were two different people. Former Chief Deputy Attorney General Chuck James said the defense attempted to show Williams is not a reliable witness, especially his claim that the Rolex, the dresses, the Ferrari were all attempts to buy influence for his business. But after a five-hour flight with the governor, the defense questioned, you had to buy dresses for Mrs. McDonnell to sit next to the governor at a New York event? Williams answered, absolutely. Mrs. McDonald's defense team rested immediately after sharing one of 1,200 emails and texts between her and Williams. Her quip on the 2011 earthquake, I just felt the earth move and I wasn't having sex. We certainly saw on the screen and the jury saw an email that indicated a comfort level that clearly goes beyond a traditional business relationship. Yeah, the defense arguing that you don't typically see a CEO and first lady communicate quite like that. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, what did the governor know about the Rolex, about the Ferrari, about the gifts? What was his part in all of this? I'll have those answers coming up. Reporting live in Richmond, Kimberly Suters, ABC 7 News. All right, we'll be waiting to hear them. Thanks, Kimberly.